Hello, I thought I'd show you some tips on uh, this little metal bender brake I made. Okay. Now what I needed to do was to bend some pretty thick metal here. As you can see, I'm not sure what gauge that is, but it's uh, st steel. And uh, I thought I'd make a little brake. So, there's lots of uh, tips on making uh, brakes like this on the internet. And the basic premise is that you take some angle iron, right? So you have one angle iron, I have a 2x4 here, this is 2 foot long. And then you put another angle iron here, this is the part that's going to move. And you put a door hinge. So this is a door hinge I got. I went over to a local hardware store, paid, uh, I think it was $7 for a pair of these ones. And what you do is you cut out a groove in the angle iron here, so that the axis of this hinge is right at the angle right here. Right? Um, some of the things I've done different than others is that I've bolted, I figured the, the, uh, the uh, hinge should bolt to both pieces of angle iron and that. And then I've got a little, another piece of angle iron here. Uh, and this is where your metal would go. Right? So you lift this up and your metal would cl clamp underneath in there. Right? Now, originally, what I had was, uh, I had this piece, right? I had this piece was the clamping piece. I said, here I've got a, a piece from an old uh, fence, uh, from a, a table saw. Really nice solid piece, I'll put it down. Uh, so one of the problems was is that when you bend a piece of metal to 90 degrees, like this, right, you actually have to bend it a little bit more. So when I first bent this piece, it only got to about here, right? Because you got to bend a little bit more and it'll spring back to shape. So that didn't work. The other thing that happened is that this is only six inches long. And when I bent it, I just had one piece of angle iron here. Uh, this angle iron is just from a, an old bed frame. Right? I would go in the back alley, uh, around my places, people are always throwing out old bed frames, so I grabbed one of these. Now, with this metal, st uh, sheet metal, st steel, it's uh, a decent thickness, probably, uh, I'm not sure, 16 or 18 gauge, right? It's quite thick. It was enough that this piece here would actually bend. It would go over like this. And you could see that it would bend and it wouldn't have enough uh, strength in it. So one of the things I have is I have two handles here. These are slots for handles. And I had them on either side. There's one here, one over here. And really what should happen is that you should have them in the middle here. So that way you're putting all the pressure exactly where you bend. Right? Uh, that would help. Now what I did is I put another piece of angle iron in here, welded it in. And when you're building one of these things, this piece here has to be super strong, right? This one doesn't, this one does. So uh, angle iron is good. There's another type of uh, iron, uh, looks like a letter C. I don't have a sample of it. Uh, some guys have built them on there. This is just to do six inches of steel, right? I was quite surprised. The other thing is, when I went to this guy here, this has to be really secure. As I bent it, this would actually move back, right? So you want to make sure that this is quite secure too, and that. Uh, so this piece has to be strong, this piece has to be strong, right? I was able to bend my metal like this. I'm using it for uh, making a chassis for a guitar amp, and that. And it, it actually bent pretty good. You can see the radiuses for this is uh, not a really sharp radius, but it's okay for what I want to do. Right? Um, for a sharper radius, and I think that was caused by this moving back. Right? So the basic idea, and the other thing is uh, I clamped it to uh, my little workbench here. Uh, it was actually made from the uh, table saw that I took apart. It was a junk table saw, right? And put a cover on it. And when I was, there's enough force just to bend that little piece that you'd have to stick your feet on here to hold it down, right, to get it going. And, that, and that's, a, it makes a really quick little uh, metal brake bender. And those are the things I found, right? This piece, again, has to be really strong, 
right? Um, I've seen guys that make four foot ones. You're not going to be able to bend anything unless you really have strong pieces here, right? The same with this, you know, the longer you do it. I was just doing six inches, six inch piece of metal, right? So a lot of these ones you'll see, oh, it's, it's good for aluminum, right? If you want to do steel, you really have to strengthen this part and this part. Those are the two main parts on it there. Okay, that's all I wanted to say.